Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. High above the pool at Hopkinton High School swim meet versus Foxborough at Keefe Tech. I'm honored tonight with a special guest, Lynn Vanna White Annenberg. My beautiful wife is helping me as the color commentator and the person who's going to announce some of the names of the individuals. And tonight, it looks like there's a, a large member Foxborough team, but according to Coach King, we're, we're looking pretty well and looking pretty good on this. As the captains speak to the swim referees and umpires and judges as we begin to know. Uh, again, a noticeable difference, a noticeable absent is Jim Brainerd. He's probably at one of his 17 other programs that he has the luxury of being the coach at. Coach King is here talking to the lovely Julie Forte. Who hosted this bagger last night with her husband who's running the camera. Yes, Dave Franklin is our, our VIP cameraman. And hopefully he took some nice photos of the kids last night as I asked. And as we start out, as we always start out. With a prayer? Uh, no prayer, but we do. A wing and a prayer? We do say the national anthem. Oh, that'd be nice. I've never heard that. We have a capacity crowd tonight coming in. Nice people working. Veteran staff tonight with the help of our newcomer. Who do we know on the Norton team? Uh, anybody if we knew from anybody from on Iran? the Norton team, it would be good, but they're swimming Foxborough. Oh. <laughs> but that's okay. Okay. Well, did I would think some of those kids were on the Adirondack team, possibly. And they're hoping to break a few records tonight, or at least make some sectional times. We start off the medley relay with the two, three women, Lydia, Tiana, Rachel, and Emily in lane four, or lane three, depending on how we were like last time. Julia, Sarah, Kylie, and Emily Trudeau in lane two, Kaylee, Leah, Stephanie, and Amanda as we compete on December 30th, 2015, the last swim meet of the calendar year as we go into the new year potentially undefeated and untied. What are we doing for the new year, honey? Uh, I believe we're going to a neighborhood party. We weren't invited to the Front Street people, but that's for another day. The people that live on the corner of Aprilla in front. Yeah, they're exclusive. They're the Game of Thrones family. Oh, there they go with the beginning chair. <laughs> Who's in front of you, honey? Is that one of the alum sitting That's right in front of us who broke uh, two? Oh, here there's it comes. A, there's it another captain that didn't want to get a ride from us, Renee Saloe. Another woman who broke uh, one of the records a few years ago in diving. Renee Saloy. And then we have Nikki Annenberg, who was a swimmer for Hopkinton as well, who now goes to UMass. Amherst. Everybody wearing their Hopkinton apparel, purchased by the, the Booster Club. Renee Saloy in her Hopkinton outfit. Lynn, why don't you tell us what the medley relay is all about so for our viewers. First we have the, it's the butterfly first, right? No, first it was backstroke. First you start with the backstroke, 50 yards. <clears throat> I should do that, I used to do it. Here they go, popping in the water. I believe it's back, breast, fly, and, and free. And they're off. And they go. There we go. 
Got a nice lead. The two and Hopkins. Is in Jingo. lane four. Tiana's in lane two. No, excuse me, Lydia's in lane two. Excuse me, Lydia's in lane four. Julia's in lane two. And Kaylee's in lane six. And both Hopkinton girls are leading right now. 50 yards each, each individual swimmer as they try to break records. And here they go. Nice breaststroke from lane two. Off to a good lead. Okay. Nice turn. Pull. Rachel does the butterfly. She's a club diver along with Lydia. Okay, here they go. And Rachel's coming in on the back leg of her 50 free, uh, 50 and That looks butterfly. like Emily, ready to go. And Off she goes. Emily Schmidt to. It's one of the captains. Here she goes, got a nice lead. Pull, 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 let's go, Emily. There she goes. Nice into the wall. Off. There she goes, nice, no breath off the turn. Here she comes, go, 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 Emily. Looks like Hopkins will take one and three as the, as the. Yep. Number one. Good job, Emily Schmidt. Almost in. Next is Foxborough, and who's bringing it in for Hopkinton Ross? First place is the Lydia team, and second place is the. Emily Trudeau. No, I believe is the Emily Trudeau team. Good job, Emily. She was out with a injury, and she's come back strong. Good job. Next, we go on to the boys once we're complete. And the boys have Young June Kim, Sam Cody, and the Richardson boys, Sam and Paul, respectively, in lane four. And in lane, excuse me, in lane two, and in lane four, we have Brad, Colin, Trevor, and Aaron Howe. And Aaron Howe also dives. He's uh, been a diver for Hopkinton and just started swimming this year, and he's doing a great job. And the team's really relying a lot on him. He's what they call as a dual threat. Oh. He has abilities that are second to none. As Coach King has given some instruction to one of the young women. And backstroke is the first yeah, 50 yards. We'll see how they go. It looks like a Hopkinton 1-2 right now, but it's a long race. A lot of cheering going on by the Hopkinton faithful. They're used to always be Nikki out and Renee. There. Look at Young June Kim. He's doing great, pulling hard. Who do we have next? Sam Cody. I believe he's a freshman, is that right, Ross? Following Maybe in his sophomore. sister's, sophomore? Following in his sister's footsteps. His uh, sister also did breaststroke a few years ago for Hopkinton. Although Foxborough, down near the page where the Patriots play, looks like as it stands right now, just from the first relay, they don't have a strong okay, here team. Here goes Sam Richardson, there he goes. Hopkinton in the lead. Oh, nice butterfly. They have a notable football team. No breath. There he goes. 
Notice how he hasn't taken any breaths. That's really hard to do. There he goes, he just took one. And here comes his brother, finishing it off for the 50 free, Paul Richardson. Looks like another one, two, excuse me, a one, two Hopkinton finish as the Here he comes. Hopkinton faithful Let's get see. into the pool. He came in and at 159.9. That's just what I clocked him at. I don't know what they have on deck. So that's what the leaders came in at. And here comes Hopkinton. Good job. And that was Aaron Howe bringing it in. Strong finish. As the crowd cheers for the final participant, Hopkinton takes one, two in the relay. And we move on to the female 200 freestyle. Bridget Belger, lane four. Mallory, Mallory Peshoff, lane two. And Caitlin O'Connor, lane six. And it's been reported to me that Bridget is trying to make sectionals tonight. And that time is, let's see what we have for a sectional time. She is a strong swimmer for freshmen. 206, 69. 20987. Right? Okay, I can't read. And, to make states. and they're off. Notice Bridget, it looks like she's in her fast skins, Ross. That's a different kind of suit kids wear when they are uh, trying to break records or get a really fast time. It's a... Yeah, a those suits are quite expensive and they have a limited use. You only they, get have, they have the obligatory expiration date on them. Mm -hmm. That just makes parents just wanna <laughs> be sick. They're very expensive for not much material. Here she goes. Let's see. She's got another 75, yard, uh, 75 yards to go. All right, I started a clocker, but I, I might have not started on time. So I think I have her at about, just about a little under a minute for the 100. She's gonna do it. She went out real fast. Let's see how she's gonna do on this third length. Third length is the, is the hardest, the third 50 out of the whole race. She's got a beautiful stroke, has her elbows up high. She's up in the water. Here she goes. All right, let's see what she does for her last 50. She's gonna pick it up in the last leg. Yeah, she's got a tough time of making the making the sectionals at this point. It's gonna be tough. She's slowing down. You can see she's breathing more. But she's got a nice form. There she goes. All right, let's bring it home. Be let's short. go, Bridget. Bring it home. Let's go. She's definitely number one, I'll tell you. Nobody's close to her. Here she, she goes. Has a good Let's meet, see. But it's not be nope. She's Maybe over. Next time, Bridget. Good job. I have her clocked at first, two fifteen, but I still. First place, Hopkinton unofficially. Good second job. Place, Foxborough. She's third, tired tonight. Third and fourth place, Hopkinton, and I believe we're waiting for Foxborough to take up the rear. The kids could be a little tired. They've had a lot of meets in a row just starting out this year. And it's winter time and it's vacation time. So I think they're all on a different time clock. Oh, here comes the last one, Foxborough. Everybody's going to cheer her on when she hits. And we move on to the boys. And that is Zach, Kyle, and Justin. And for you people in the 21st century, those are the trendy names. <laughs> There's no
no names out there like Dave or Mike or Steve. We've gone to a new world now as it's quiet and we're waiting for the boys to get in the pool for the 200 freestyle. We're looking at some times here. Not sure how Zach, Kyle, and Justin will, will compete, but we'll find out soon enough. It's Zach Holbro, Kyle Hall, and Justin Buffard. All right, let's start the clock. Or as he's affectionately known as JB. And they're off. And they're off. Let's see. Hopkinton got in the pool first. Let's see. Another one and two so far for Hopkinton. See, looks like Zach is is right up there. Oh, and Justin, both of them. Looks like they've like got one, one two, two three. three. Oh, honey, jinx. <laughs> As the crowd keeps coming in, capacity crowd, people have to make room. This is a popular thing tonight, honey. Nothing else going on in Hopkinton, except for Julia Beth Annenberg back at our house. God the knows what's happening are, there. The are free. Oh, three is always good. A lot of people using their cell phones and the social networking, not watching the game. <laughs> Does that sound familiar? What's Nicole Molly doing? Okay, they're doing some good pulling. Definitely got one, two, and three. They're neck and neck. It'll be Justin and Kyle together. Did we talk about the new swimsuit girls? Do we like the new swimsuits it's this like year? Spacey. It's like a spacey? Like a Renee Salois is spacey. Would you yeah. would you have wanted to be in those last year, Renee? I remember our I mean, disco ones. <laughs> there's definitely been worse ones. There's definitely worse. Yeah. Yeah. Don't you hate? Last year was fun. Don't you think they should have lower backs though? They yeah. look so much better. I need like a Nike. Um, I agree. Right, getting back to the oh. meat itself as opposed to okay. the fashion. I like fashion, honey. Well, then watch the then okay. watch then watch Joan Rivers' daughter on the fashion police. So he came up, let's see, that was So we got one, two. Uh yep. And maybe four or five. Oh, he's got a little bit more to swim. Sorry. He's going. Oh, we got one, two, three. Oh, they had a little mix-up, Foxborough. Zach came in first, Kyle, and then Justin. No, Fox opposite. Girl swimmer. No, Zach, Justin, then Kyle. I was too busy talking about fashion on deck. Right, Renee? And they complete the round of the 200 free. We move on to the IM. We have Rachel Zale, Julia Pillarella, and Amanda Mack, or make. And that's a tough event because it's all four strokes in one event. So right. usually there's one of the four that's 
really difficult for a swimmer. So if you're good at breaststroke, usually one of the other ones is this you struggle with, right. or and vice Hopkinson versa. Hopkinson High School swim team had a good breaststroker last year. That would be a friend of Renee Saloy's and Nikki Molly. That would be Bridget Coffey, who's now swimming for Lafayette Division One. In the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. There's a lull between uh, the two events. They're all lined up to cheer. Coach King has had his hyperactivity taken down a notch because he thinks he's he's in well in well in command. <laughs> okay, they're off. And the first, event, the first event is the breaststroke. Oh, the butterfly, butterfly honey, butterfly. butterfly. And there's Lydia, that's Lydia right up front, right? And then we have Tiana is in lane no, two. No, sweetie. no? Rachel, yes. Julia, and Amanda. Why does it say Lydia? Right there, I am. Oh, wrong place. We're, we're in the third event. And we go to backstroke, then the breaststroke, and then you close it out with the freestyle. Freestyle. Crowd is into the crowd is into this meet. Looks like the young Alyssa Annenberg is doing some timing. That's what the divers do. They wait and wait and wait. Hurry up and wait. So Rachel, we got Rachel Zale way out time. front. Oh, my brother came to see One of the, the meet. Devils. Came all the way from Lexington, Massachusetts. Nice hug for his knees. Home of the first shot heard around the world. There she goes. Lynn's brother was not born during the revolutionary period, though. He's coming off knee surgery, though. Way up front. There she goes, Rachel. Nice. She's got at a nice pace. Coach King giving some encouragement to her. His, On the uh, sides. His, his individuals. With his nice orange socks. Did you notice that, honey? He's color coordinated. <laughs> and there she goes, going off to the freestyle. Let's go, Rachel. Take it home. There she goes. She's got a very nice freestyle. Let's go. He's telling Rachel to kick, kick, kick. Coach King is giving her the word. He wants her to push it to the end. Here she comes. And her time is 235.19. First place, good job, Rachel. And second place, Hopkinton, is Julia. Julia Perello. And let's see what we're gonna do next. Will be Foxborough will come in third place. I would hope that the Hopkinton uh, Hillers would, there would be a lot of competitors today because it doesn't look like Foxborough is going to give them much of a showing, although they're trying hard. Up oh, here comes lane six. Them. Comes Amanda. Good job. They just don't have the capabilities at this point. As we move on to the boys, I am Jake Glover, Trevor Perkins, and Colin Thine. Oh, Colin Thine. Now, he had two sisters who swam before him, right, Ross? Captains. Yep. One was the captain, and one uh, graduated a few years before that. Both strong swimmers. Both did some breaststroke, and I think they did some butterfly for the team. And, and sister, sister Jenna, and some diving announcements. Sister Jenna was uh, a captain, a co-captain with a few girls that we know. One was Renee Saloy. <laughs> now they're just doing a little warm down before the boys. Who do we have for the boys, honey? Uh, we have Jake, Trevor, and Colin. Okay. Jake in lane four, Trevor in lane two, 
And Colin in lane six. And Colin's a freshman, and he's doing uh, very well this year. He's a great new addition to the Hopkinton team. All right, off they go. Wait, do they have nobody on the other side? Apparently they're... Uh, oh, I just noticed that, honey. They've uh, gotten a mulligan. <laughs> <laughs> this is a freebie, guys. So they're competing against themselves, themselves to see if they can stretch out their times and reduce some friction and figure out... And impress the, the coach. That's always a goal. Impress the coach. Yep. It's always a positive... Positive feedback. Karen Terry's busy watching their strokes. She helps with the strokes all the time, Ross. She does. Oh, there they go. Now they're she's, at. Back she's to. the yin to, to, to his yang. Oh, yeah. Who's the yin to our yang, honey? David Mann. <laughs> David Mann, that would be my brother. How about Dave Franklin for tonight? <laughs> He's watching over us. He is, but there's no yin and yang. Oh, him and Julie? There's a lot of yin and yang there. You're a Th newbie. We don't even compare to them. They are the couple of couples, honey. They are considered Hopkinton royalty. They finish each other's sentences. They do finish each other's sentences. We interrupt each other. <laughs> okay, back to swimming. We're on the breaststroke now. Honey, I feel like you're not paying attention tonight. I'm paying attention. Is it because of your little procedure today? Ross had a little procedure. Oh, don't give me that look. Okay, take that back. It's not so much paying attention. It's kind of hard to really get enthusiastic when there's nobody in the pool competing against you. Okay, sorry. So we are watching and we're hoping that they are going to beat Here some of come. the times. You're right. That should be the goal. Let's see. Who's in the first? We hope everybody has a good, healthy... Healthy New Year, Happy New Year. So this is Jake Club. And they stay safe tomorrow night. Remember that it's, it's amateur night. So if you have time tomorrow night, pick up a bottle of wine and watch HCAM, the Ocho. <laughs> they need more than a bottle of wine to listen to us. Okay, coming in the stretch. This is Jake Glover. Let's see, I don't know what his time was before, but he's coming in at 231.45, first place. Very good, very good meet for Jake. He's probably tired. And next we have. Did you give Julia, uh, did you give Lissy the Gatorade? Yeah, I did. She was very happy. Good job, honey. And next came in is Trevor. And right behind Trevor is Colin Thine. Good finish, Colin. Trevor could be named TP. Like toilet paper. Mm. <laughs> exactly. You set me up. <laughs> See, I bet you didn't think I was that quick, honey. I'm not that quick. Well, look at everybody's coming in now. They're all coming in for the diving. Oh, Brother David. We're not Just sure if the neighboring town of Southboro will make a cameo. Oh, yeah, they're on a different time zone. Greetings, Framingham. <laughs> That's David. He came all the way from Lexington. Had a look. Can I see your passport? We're very supportive of everyone. Yeah. I know. Okay, with his, last with his one. young offspring. Honey, announce this. I don't know what's, what David we're Jr., on. David Jr., a.k.a. Adam. <laughs> it's a relay. Can you announce it? Uh, we're all settling. You didn't announce it. I know. We're going to announce it. All right. Say. It's not a relay. It's 50 free. Oh, all right. Emily well, in lane that. four, Julia in lane two, and Ashley Pearson in lane six. And, and yep. believe, Off it they not, go. believe it or not, Foxborough has some competitors. Could not send this one out. Okay. 50 free. It's just Hopkinson's a. It's just a right in the lead. It is the traditional sprint. It's a flap of the arms as fast as you can go with taking limited amount of breaths. And those who can do it without breaths usually pull right ahead. Let's see what we got here. And First it's over. First place, 28 seconds, 65. Who was that, honey? Who was it? That was Emily Schmidt. Oh, I thought so. Captain Emily Captain Schmidt. Captain Emily Schmidt. 
And then we go on to lane two. Lane two was. Julie Altman and Ashley Pearson in lane six. We have heat. We have heat two. Leah Sierra, Sierra, and Stephanie, Capellis, Shussel, and Yenawine. And if you don't think those are mouthfuls, then you are a linguistics major. And there's a lull just for you people out in the audience who are going to be watching our broadcast. Um, the second and third heats are basically untimed heats as far as anything for qualifying, but it's to get the coach's ear and to get some experience in the water. So that he has the depth for next year. And these, these are the kids he'll pick from. So here they go. Hopkinton is again in the lead. Lane two, lane four in the lead. Those are both Hopkinton girls, and lane four is pulling it out. Let's see what she has. Who do we have lane four? Uh, there she goes. Leah, Leah, 30 Leah seconds, Wine, 57. Sierra, 30, 57. Stephanie. Good job. Lane and, two. Yep, and then now we have heat three. Just for people that don't think that these heats go quick. We have Kelly Burke, Maggie Miller, and Meg Megan Halloran. All three Italian girls. We had a little scare yesterday. We had a, a, a puppy, Coco. Who, uh, that we were dog sitting. Dog, if you ever want to get a dog, a 70 pound Bernice puppy got lost in the neighborhood, but we came through in the clutch and returned it to a rightful owner back in Hudson, Mass. Beautiful dog for you people that are. Well, are, off they go. We're interested in a Bernice mountain dog. And Lane, and Heat 3 is on. Again, Heat 3 is generally a little slower, but these girls need the experience and they need the pool time. So it's a good it's a good for all because they're not competing against each other, they're competing against their, their times. And we have Kelly Burke coming in. 32-27. Nice effort, girls. Good job. And we move on to the boys. And this is a fast-paced heat, fast-paced meet. And Brad's in lane four, Aaron in lane two, and Jack in lane six. And both Aaron and Jack are divers as well, so they'll be diving, I believe, after uh, this event. So they've been diving and swimming this year. Jack is a freshman, and Aaron Howe is a senior, right? I believe he is Wheaton bound. Wheaton bound, that's right. And he'll be diving for them. Wish him all the best. He's not gone yet. Okay, up uh, they go. Looks like the Fox Bowl boy got to jump the gun, but they're off. Hockey to the go. Lane two. Looks like Aaron's just pulling it out. Let's go. All right. Oh, look at Aaron right on the turn. He's up it's number a one. Race. He's going. He's pulling it out, Aaron. A H. There he goes. All right, Foxborough's just giving him a run for his money. There he goes, and there he goes, there he goes. It's yes! A Aaron H pulled Howe. it off, 27.58. Good job, Aaron. Cheers all around for the Howe family. Second, Foxborough, and third was Hopkinton. And Aaron's got to clone himself within 10 minutes and begin the diving. And the first diver this evening is Allie Morrow. Allie's a former gymnast who's competing for the first year, and she's doing excellent. And. I think that was just a practice dive. The kids are practicing. Competing tonight for the, for the Hopkinton boys are Jack, John, and Aaron. Competing for the girls are Allie, Leah, and Lizzie. And, and unofficial is Maddie. Maddie Lizzie. and Alyssa Annenberg. And Reese. Oh, beautiful dive, nice and high. They're just warming up, though. 
Damn. They're waiting for the other judges. I think they're waiting for the Russian judge. <laughs> they have to wait a while. He's coming in from the Kremlin. And as my daughter in front of me continues to take Snapchat photos, not entirely sure why, but she is, she is par for the course for today's generation, the millennium. Aaron Howe has turned his from Batman costume into Superman. <laughs> and this is Jack. This is little Jack Brennan. Freshman. I think it's his first year diving. warm up okay I don't see any Foxboro divers but I could be mistaken three judges we keep very quiet for diving nice clean dive for a young diver like that she just started diving this year six four and a half five and here's Lizzie this is her second year diving and that's Lizzie with an IE I'm not sure how long she's been diving. <coughs> nice. Five and a half, four and a half, five. Nice job, Lizzie. Beautiful form. Seven and a half. Eight and a half, seven and a half, eight. Beautiful. Very bad. Eight, eight and a half, eight. Eight, eight and a half, eight. Good luck, now here comes Ali Morrow, first year diving. Nice. Seven and a half, six, six for Ali Morrow. Here comes Jack. Five, four and a half, four and a half for Jack. Here comes Reese, veteran. Captain. And for those who know, Captain All State or All Scholastic and Amherst University, Amherst Bound. Eight and a half for Reese. Good job. He has beautiful form, points his toes. It's a tough act to fall. Ooh, nice 
Nice job, Aaron. Eight, eight, seven and a half for Aaron. Good job, Aaron. Six, five and a half, five and a half for John. Again, there's nobody competing on Fox Pro, so they're just competing against themselves to try to make good dives so they can qualify for Ooh. sectionals and states. Four and a half, four and a half, five for Ellie. A little overextended there, but another bad dive. Four and a half, five, four. And here comes Maddie. Seven and a half, six, five and a half for Maddie. Here comes Lissy. That was a wide range of uh, tabulations. Mm -hmm. Eight, six and a half, six and a half. For Alyssa. Ooh. Little overextension. Six, five, five and a half. Six, five, five and a half for Allie. Here comes Jack. Bingo. <laughs> joker, joker, joker. Eight, Soja. seven, six and a half. Soja. Seven, six and a half, seven. Nice dive. Very impressive. He's going to give Aaron's come a long, Reese long run for way. Almost. I need to get it. Three and a half, four, three. That's Jack Mack, otherwise known as John.
five, four and a half, four. Now, Sister Lizzie. Did you know those two are sisters? No, the I didn't. First one. That's a good observation. That's the younger sister. Just started diamond this year. Good for her. Keeps the competitive team spirit alive. Miss Lizzie. Four and a half, three and a half. Four and a half? I think it was. Ooh, nice. She always does that dive nice. Nine, eight and a half, seven and a half. Nine, eight and a half, seven and a half. Good Very job, good Maddie. Third item, 201, back time, height, 1.6. Nice, nice. Lizzie. Nine, nine, nine. Nine, bingo! Joker, nice job, Joker, Lizzie. Joker. Nine, bingo. All right, let's go, Allie Morrow. I think Alyssa's showing off for her family. Mm, she's got a lot of family here tonight. Nice job, Allie. Six, 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 five for Allie Morrow. Three, four, four for Jack. Good job, Jack. Nice dive. Sixes. That's a hard one. Seven, seven and a half, six and a half, I believe. That's a that's a higher um, elevation. Uh, yeah. <laughs> higher rating, whatever you call it. Degree degree of difficulty. Thank you. Sounds like here comes Aaron. Nice, Aaron. Seven, six and a half, seven and a half. Good job, Aaron. Good job. That's Jack Mack. Six and a half, five, five and a half. Nice. Six and a half, five, five and a half for Jack Mack or John. That wasn't Maddie. No. That was four, five, five. Was Leah or Liz Lizzie? No, that was Leah. Sorry about that. I missed Leah, up. Not Litsky. That's the younger sister. Here's Lizzie now. Lizzie now. Lizzie. Lizzie. Nice. Just nice. gotta break it in a little closer. Four and a half, four, four and a half for Lizzie. Two point three difficulty for Maddie, so it's a higher difficulty. Here she goes. Ooh, that was nice. Seven and a half, nice. six and a half, six and a half for Maddie. Two 
2.3 difficulty for Lissy. Here she goes. Oh, that was good. Good job, Liss. She dropped it. Seven, six and a half, six and a half. Good job, Liss. Here comes Allie Morrow. There's Allie Morrow, AM, on your dial. That's a hard dive to get. That's a 1.6 degree of difficulty. Four, four and a half, four. <coughs> That's a dive That's that a she'll get one. with, with uh, experience. Practice. She might take some private lessons from Renee Saloy. Renee, she's retired. There you go, Jeff. Flying through the air. They might ask her to come out of retirement if she pays well. Four and a half, four and a half, five. <laughs> Renee was the mother of all the divers last year. <coughs> 2.3 degree of difficulty, Ross. On your dial, yep. RD. Nice. Always nice pointed toes with race. Mr. Witherspoon. A little over rotated. Over rotated. Sixes. Six, six and a half, six. Six, six and a half, six. I think I've become race. a diving judge. Yeah, honey, you got it. Both Aaron Howell's parents are taking videograms. Oh, Ooh, he got a pie. He got a real pie. He could pie. almost touch the vent up, up, up at the top. Seven and a half, six and a half, six and a half. Six and a half. Here we go. That's what they said. Now it's Jack Mack. <laughs> Young Spencer Franklin is in, in attendance. What a former swimmer. And former captain for two years. And a record holder. Nice, Jack. Goes flying through the air. Four. Five, five, five. Five. Bingo. Go, Jack. Here comes. That's what they call a trifecta. Leah. Nice. Girls are learning quick on the job. Yep. Her first year, she's five, five and a half, five. Good job, Leah. <coughs> Here comes Lizzie. Little OG, OG, OJT on the job training. She's going after her sister. There's going to be some battles this summer at the pool. <laughs> Whoops. I don't think she missed her footing. Yeah, she slipped. We'll three and a half, two and a half, three. Yep. I think she slipped. She gets a mulligan. Happens to everybody. Even Renee Saloy happened to, probably. Ooh. I think she waited the last second to. Seven, six and a half, seven and a half. Seven, six and a half, seven and a half for Maddie. Up on deck is the sea again. Seven. Four, seven, six and a half, six. Seven, six and a half, six. And that's a higher degree of difficulty, that dive. Here comes Allie Morrow. I think, I think Alyssa Annenberg ate her Wheaties this morning. I think, it, I think it was that sports drink, honey. It was. Five and a half, think, six, five and a half. I think it was the encouragement by her younger and older sisters. Oh, yeah, they're sleeping on the job as far as sisters. Here comes Jack. Uh, 
is away from one of the how girls. Does he almost made it to the other end of the pool. Three and a half, four, three and a half. He's doing great for his first year. Here comes Better and Reese and Captain. Very smooth. I bet you sevens and a half across the board. Seven and a half, bingo? No, eight and a half in the middle. Oh, seven and a half, eight and a half, seven and a half. Male, female, male. And as the how take competitive videos. <laughs> Dueling videos. That's it. MTV versus VH1. Here it goes. I think he opened up a little. And, and then closed it. And then tried to wave to one of his parents. Six, five, four and a half. Go Johnny. Jack Mack. That That's a tough dive. Because you got to arch your back and you got to keep it straight at the end. Four and a half, four and a half, three and a half. That's a tough one. That takes this a lot of practice. This is the sixth and final dive for you people that are listening in the, in the audience. Here comes Leah. This is the younger sister. Double L. Ooh. Three, right. four, three. All right. These are learning experiences. These are teaching moments. Four, three and a half, four and a half for Lizzie. Here comes Maddie. Seven and a half, six and a half, seven for Maddie. And that was a higher degree of difficulty. Good job, Maddie. Nice. Nice. Very smooth. Seven and a half, seven, seven and a half for Lissy. And that was a higher degree if of difficulty. I was to guess, I don't know if she broke a record tonight. Who? Alyssa Annenberg. Who? Really? At least her own record. Oh, yeah. That probably makes sense. Let's go, Allie. Nice. Five and a half, four and a half, four. Five and a half, four and a half, four. Good job, Allie Morrow. Here comes Reese's final dive. Nice. He gets a pie. Seven, seven and a half, six and a half. All right, last dive for Aaron. Two point four difficulty, which is a higher difficulty. Nice. All right, not bad. Not bad. Six and a half, six and a half, five. Six and a half, six and a half, five. That was a tough dive. Here comes Jack Max final dive. <coughs> Very clean, 
points, six is across. Five, four and a half, five and a half. Five, four and a half. I was a little liberal on that one. I was like the presidential debate. I was a little liberal. The diving is over. The diving portion's over, and we'll be back. We're gonna take another break. After a short recess from our sponsors. And we go on to the next event, which is the 100 Fly, Rachel Zale, Tiana McCann, and Stephanie Capellis. Lane two, lane four, two, and six, respectively, as they pull the racers back. And they're off. There they 100 go. Butterfly, this is the real skilled event where you the see the shoulders one. and the arms in, in unison together along with the hips. The key is to have like the undulating, uh, let's see, it's like a dolphin. Or if you're a Clark, it could be a cougar. Or oh, Yukon could be a, what are they? Oh, Husky. Where'd they go? Who's lane two? Lane two, uh, lane four is Rachel Zale. Lane two. Deanna McCann, lane two. Good job. Looks like this Both may girls. be one of the, two, one of the events that the young uh, Foxborough might take one home. Mm -hmm. Hopkins is doing a great job. Both Tiana and Rachel Zale are neck and neck as the number two position. Foxborough is number one. And looks like Rachel Zale pulled it out on the turn. She's just a little bit ahead. But Tiana is doing a great job. All right, what do we have for Rachel Zale? One and we oh take uh, two and three on that Good one. Good job, 109.53 for Rachel Zale. So we got one, two and three for Hopkinton. <coughs> and four. Fourth place as well, and that would be lane six is who else? Uh, Stephanie Capellis. Good job. Then we go on to the boys. Shane Horseman and Connor Murchie. I'm not sure if anybody showed up for the uh, Foxborough team. And there's nobody competing, it looks like, for Just the boys Shane for and Foxborough. Connor. Unless you consider Casper the ghost, uh, Elaine, or the invisible man. Oh, oh, false start. Got a false start. He gets a mulligan. there because he realized that it might have had some issues but as they're competing in lane four is Shane lane two is Connor and the next event for the girls is a triple one 100 freestyle and we'll go we'll give the entries we'll let Lynn do the entries if she can put on her granny glasses no, I got it last. Oh, here they go. They're both pretty much together. This is the most difficult stroke out of them all and really tiring. Yep. They're pulling in the last leg. You got to get your hips up on this. Get it so you're not sinking down. There it goes. And Hopkinton and finishes 1-2, one, no surprise. 15, and Shane's right after. Now we have the 100 free Ross. You want me to read it? 
There we go. Right here. Okay, we have. In the first heat. First heat is Logan Salyards. Lane two. Lane four is Bridget Belger. And Kelsey Keone. Oh, gosh. Cajon. Cajon. Thank you, Ross. Uh, you're much smarter than me. You're better looking, though. Thank you. <laughs> I need something, honey. Okay, they're getting ready. This is a sprint, even though it's four laps of the pool, 25 yards apiece. And they're yeah. off. Okay, Logan got out there. And they're off, four laps of the pool as they sprint. Right now with Logan and Bridget. Just to look around, we have a lot of people in attendance tonight. What do we have? Some young women from Southboro. Oh, sophomore Leah Litsky. Yep, they came to see Lissy die. Oh, there she goes. There goes Bridget. There she goes. Now she's pulling up the lead, and next is Logan. So far, Hopkinton's got one, two. Fox is third, and then fourth is Hopkinton. Bridget's on her last lap, last link. Here she goes. And Bridget's consuming, I think, for Westboro. She's a very good, powerful swimmer. Here she comes in. Oh, my goodness. And a minute, 16. A minute, 16. Next is Logan. Third is Foxboro coming in. Fourth is Hopkinton. And that would be Kaylee, came in fourth. Good job, Hopkinton. And Foxborough's still working on it. And there should be a big applause from Hopkinton. That's what they're always taught. Right, Ross? They are taught. To they are good Sportsmanship. Sports. They've won the Sportsmanship Awards multiple years. And we go to uh, heat number two. Who do we have in heat number two? Heat number two is... Um, Lane four, Julia Altman. Lane two is Ashley Pearson. And lane six is Amanda Mack. And again, for those people that are listening out in HKM land, this is an unofficial heat. It's just good for experience and to get the coach's ear. Or I, for that matter. Any one of the five organs. Seems quite, <laughs> he's pretty calm this meet, isn't he, Ross? He's doing the, uh, just his hands on his chin, just relax a little I bit. I think he's looking forward to New Year's Eve. I think so, probably. Yeah, with his lady friend, his wife. With his lady friend, oh, the wife. Mm -hmm. Who wouldn't enjoy New Year's Eve with their wives? We have a lot to, <laughs> to be enjoyed for. Did you ever, oh, never mind. Oh, Julie Fackman's back on the floor deck. She took it. Took a 20 minute little break. hiatus. Was she going, maybe she was whispering sweet things in Dave Franklin's ear. I think she was actually talking to her eldest son oh, or the her son. only son, either one. There it goes. There we go. Hopkinton's out front. Lane two dove in beautifully. That was Ashley. And lane four, Hopkinton also. It's Julia Altman. Here comes Julia, pulling it out. She's competing with Foxborough right now. It's her and Foxborough, neck and neck. Let's go, Julia, kick, kick. Let's get off that wall. There she goes. She pulled ahead right on the turn. Do the girls have practice tomorrow? Uh, I'm not sure. I think they're off. We'll have to look. I think they're off till Saturday. All right, Julia. Hopkinton's in the lead. Then Foxborough, and then we have Ashley. Lane two. Good job. Uh, 110 15 for Julia Altman. Coming in next is Ashley. And then lane six was Amanda. 
Who do we have for Heat 3, Lynn? Heat 3 is... Lane 4 is Leah Yenawine. Yeah. Lane 2 is Mallory Peshoff. Yeah. And lane 6 is Maggie Miller. I did that without my glasses. Are That's you perfect. Oh. Even though you're blind as a bat. No, nope, only for reading. Oh, and Foxborough just came in. They cheer for them. Handshakes across the board. That's the obligatory handshake to the neighboring uh, lane. Sportsmanship at its best at Hopkinton a High School. We're to know them for that. Not sure if they have good sportsmanship at Algonquin, but I presume they do. Algonquin, they're quite the competitive school. Did you ever see the soccer players? They're no. like, they are competitive. Double L. Leah Litsky was in there. Okay, here they go. And off they go. Let's see who got off. Let's see, lane two got off to a really good start. That would be Mallory. She got right off those blocks, Mallory. Coming into the turn. Nice turn, she's maintaining her lead. Right off the turn, good job, Mallory. And in second place is lane four, Hopkinton. That would be Leah Yenawine. Leah's I like that name, up. Leah Yenawine. Yenawine, you like that, honey? L-Y. There she goes, lane two. Good job, Hopkinton. I think L-Y goes good with any name. Oh, Leah's going, she's killing it. No, that would be Mallory. Mallory is right in front. There she goes, off the turn. She's coming in first. And then Leah should be second. And then Foxborough will be third. And then fourth will be Hopkinton, Maggie Miller. There we go. Good job, Hopkinton. I forgot to press the button, so I didn't get. And in comes Foxborough. All right, the boys rest. Do we want to announce them? Where are they? Sure. Okay. Under free, we have lane four, Sam Richardson, lane two, Jake Glover, and lane six, Kyle Hall. Oh, false start. Oh. Hopkinton, That's two. start on Get Kyle. Two for the price of one. Come on, guys, learn how to focus and click. Okay, and they're off. They Should be a good race for 100 free, Richardson, Glover, and Hall. Oh, Glover already got off the block slit. Oh, nope. Richardson's pulling it out. Off the turn. Nice turn for Richardson. He's got a nice, smooth stroke. Long and tall, nice, smooth stroke. Oh, here comes Jake Glover, though. He's gonna give him a run for his money. There he goes. Come on, Jake, let's go. Richardson is Richardson. doing well. Dan Richardson. Dan Richardson. Nice, smooth stroke. All right, coming in to, for the close. Got Sam in first. Next is Jake. Sam is at 56.63. Good job, Sam. And next is Jake. Got and second. We move on to third is Hopkinton. 500 freestyle. And fourth is Kyle Hall. We move on to 500 freestyle once the Foxborough young men are complete. And in lane four, we have Julia Gorgel. We have Sarah Kang and Kelly Burke. That's a long race. That's 
How many lengths is that, Nikki? 20 lengths? 10 laps, 20 lengths. How's my math, Dave? <laughs> I wasn't big on math. That's why I went into law. <laughs> that work out. Okay. 20 laps of the pool at 25. You'll have people at the end of the pool giving the description of how many laps you are approaching. And there'll be a buzzer at the end of the 18th lap. Who do we have in the water? I know Julia Gorgo. She's lane Sarah four. Sarah Kang and Kelly Burke of Kelly the Kelly Burke, Burke fame. Well, we sit back and watch oh, this race. We've got one, it's two, a, and three so far for Hopkinton. Who's lane six? This is definitely the, the uh, Burke. That's Burke, Kelly Burke. So Kelly and <coughs> Julia me. Gorgel are neck and neck. And then we have. It's a marathon, so we'll just sit back and let uh, our astute videographer take some Great shots of the team as we watch the 20 laps proceed. This is a marathon. It's one of those events that uh, takes every bit of six plus minutes. So if you need to uh, get a drink or if you need to uh, tuck your kids in at night, go ahead and do it now because they're going to be in the pool for a while. And this is usually the time that people decide that the meat's well in hand and they're going to leave. If you see people leaving in different areas of the what they call a natatorium, a pool. Competing in the 500 um, freestyle for the boys, just to get ahead of myself, is Sean, Young Jun Kim, and Sam Cote. Julia's got a nice rhythm going. It's a tough, 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 long event. Coach King is instructing her on the sides, guiding her telling her what she needs to do. He's always giving cues to his swimmers. And as the parents who are doubling as timers and deck people are chatting, because they realize that this is a very long race. Who do we have on the deck today? We have uh, Mr. Gorgel, Miss yep. Forte, Miss Thine. And race. I don't know the other. Tiana's mother, but I forget her name. Okay. And 
Let's see here. What? Oh, and hand to hand. What? Megan. I used to do that. Everybody has to help in this sport. I'm sure the kids are gonna be looking forward to having a little break. They've had meet after meet. It's been a, once the season started going, they just got right into the competition season. It's been a little tiring for them, so they need to get a little rejuvenated. So I'm sure over the new year, they'll get some rest, some good food in them, and be ready to go again. They just did 15, oh, 13 minutes. Coming up on 15. Nope, coming on 17. For the leader, Julia. It's been a nice even stroke. 17 strokes for Julia. And 17 lengths. Each kid is breathing properly, trying to get as many things out, and we got okay, the Okay, she's going on the final, final lap for Julia. And as they in. say in the Kentucky Derby, down the stretch they come. And they're waving the orange, telling Julia it's her last length. And she's going into the flip turn now and coming into the close. Let's go, Julia. Here she goes, closing it up at number one. And she closes it at 635. Good job, Julia. Ooh. That was 635. She should get a nice Gatorade after that one. That's a mm -hmm. long race. Come on, keep pushing, girls. Okay, lane six should be coming in now. Lane six is who, honey? Lane six is Kelly B. Kelly Burke, bring it in to get the second place. Let's go, Kelly, bring it in. Let's go, Kelly. There we go. So Hopkinton, Hopkinton has one and two. Foxborough number three. And we're gonna bring in number four. Nice job. So we got one, two, four. Who's lane two, honey? Sarah Kang. Sarah Kang. Good job. No relation to tough race, Hopkinton. No it's a tough to event. Me. I remember Nikki Annenberg doing that race. Do you yeah. remember that, honey? She was begrudgingly. No. Wasn't one of her, she wasn't a fan favorite. Well, she did like it at one point. She missed her, her, her fellow meet record holder, relay record holder, Rihanna Galler, her senior year. Rihanna went on to greener pastures. She became a Quaker. <laughs> All right, everybody give a cheer for Hot Fox Girl finishing up. And as we, uh, this meet is pretty well in hand. The last thing that we do before the evening's over, even though we have a few more events, we discuss the chair. Is it gonna be a, is it gonna be a potato chip, potato chip chair? Or is it gonna be a- Colgate a, or Up press. the pool, down the pool? With the toothpaste it is, sorry. Oh yeah, toothpaste, toothpaste in your tube. 
And the sportsmanship comes out Here it glowingly comes. as the Foxborough as faithful has finished, it finished it up come. the 20th lap. Night, night to that event. We move All on right, to the 500 to the boys. boys. Let's which announce is, it again, honey. We'll be a little quicker, I hope. Uh, 500 freestyle, 20 laps of the pool. It'll be Seen Kelly, better known as Sean. Young Jun Kim. Or Young Jun Kim. Better known as? Better known as Young Jun. <laughs> And Sam Cody, no relation Better to know. Catherine. <coughs> Catherine's sister. Brother. Brother. <laughs> that too. <laughs> uh oh, I get it. Hope there's no false starts. Put down the false starts. All right, here oh, they go. That guy got off. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna right make off. a solid prediction that the. The uh, Foxboro guy is going give to him, give him a run for his money. It looks like it. Who's lane two do we have? Lane two is Young Jun Kim. What? Uh -huh. Oh, he swims for Adirondack Club. Lane three. Unknown, unknown swimmer, but it looks like he's got a pace that is uh, moving uh -huh. along pretty well. Monday, the, the young boy, young man from Norwell did a 505, matching Megan Farrell's record. The record still held by a young Kevin Lagasse, 458 and change. Those Kevin Lagasse and, boys are memorable, huh? Kevin's an alumni of Hopkinton High School and Worcester Academy, now attends the College of Holy Cross in the great city of Worcester with another team captain, Catherine Cody, that is correct. And as the people are watching, chatting, social networking, there's a lot of action going on. But we're definitely in the, we're around the 16th hole for people that have a golf analogy. We're almost done with this meet. It's time to get home and get ready for the festivities for the of year. New Year. The Litskys were supposed to go out with us, but they declined. Yep, always. They have to decide. What are the mans of Lexington doing? They were the mans of uh, Marlboro, Mar uh, Marblehead. What Two mans together, man squared. Man squared night. Really, for New Year's? Yeah, I don't know if they're gonna make it to the, 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 the stretch of 12. Destination unknown or? No, Lexington. Lexington? Mm -hmm. Carriage Lane, 18? Carriage 19? Lane. We don't give that out. <laughs> That's secret probation information, honey. All right, erase that one, Dave. Yeah. We're going to deal with Homeland Security on that one, honey. David's got, David's got a high security clearance. Used to when he worked for Raytheon. No, not Dave Franklin, David Mann. David Mann? Oh, yeah, David Mann. I forgot about that. And the Hopkinton boys are neck and neck. Who's standing next to Lissy? Who's the boy? Uh, Jack Mack. One of the Johnson twins. Oh, one of the Johnson twins? One quit, one still has. Oh, they're twins though? One so twin. They, they own a pharmaceutical company, company, Johnson & Johnson? Something like that. Let's go, Hillers. This is where they have to start to pick it up. Getting to the end. I'm kind of getting hungry. Oh, yeah. What's the naysay?
like to thank everybody who came from Worcester County and Middlesex County tonight. And Foxborough, Norfolk County, some of the counties that are represented this evening. Sinai Liskey sporting a nice black jacket. Where'd you get that jacket, Sinai? That's a nice jacket. Nice. Nice advertisement, Ross, for... Yeah, free advertisement for the 10 listeners. <laughs> or viewers. Ah, <laughs> right, here we go. Down here the stretch comes. they come. All right, Fox Bros. going to be closing it in. He's saying night-night to the others. See what it's going to bring it in. Yeah. All right, how they go coming in, and it comes down to lane three. Foxborough takes home the gold with the silver going to Second. Hopkinton. Good job. And 626 for the bronze medal going to Hopkinton and fourth place going to Hopkinton. Very Lane nice, very nice competitive four meet. Was oh, Sean Kelly. Sean Kelly came in first. That's Young June second. came in second. No, Sean Kelly came I'm, in I'm second. I'm sorry, second. Young June came in third. Third and fourth to Cody, respectively. And we go on to the women's relay. 200 relay. Rachel, Kylie, Emily, and Emily in lane four. In lane two, Maggie, Julia, Leah, and Ashley. And in lane six, Caitlin, Megan, Amanda, and Sierra. for making a cameo tonight. And the man's. Three out of five, that's 60%. Not bad in attendance. <laughs> it's, it's only on, for those who are concerned of viewership, it's on <laughs> channel eight for Hopkinton Cable Public Access Station, the Ocho, for you Spanish-speaking viewers. <laughs> what about in French? Uh, oh, Tim's away. Rating is 0.00. .00. So I don't know what Ocho is. I'm kind of, I'm kind of like, I'm kind of like D-Day in Animal House. I have no grade point average. Here we go. And they're off. Not yet. Okay, off they go. Let's see. Hopkinton got right off the blocks. Lane four. <laughs> Who's leading in lane four, Ross? First competitor is Rachel Zale out the Rachel gate. Rachel Zale, right out there. Here comes Hopkinton in the lead. Lane four, Rachel Zale. Rachel Zale, 50, All right, who's up next? 53. And who's waiting Kylie, for her? Kylie? Kylie Sal Yards, Emily Trudeau, and Emily Schmidt. There they go. They're going to try to break the former record of Grace Cavanaugh, a Abby Fisher, Emily. Emily Way and Olivia Hanran, 144 out the gate. Yeah. All right, who's next? Who's third is? Um, That's 
Emily Trudeau, who's out there now in lane four. Oh, and lane two, they're in third place. Lane two right now swimming is That'd be Julia Altman. Or Leah Yenawan, right? Are we, in, are we still no, in the second? No, the second. Now here comes third. Oh, no do it. Oh, no, no, no. This is the last leg. This is the last leg. This is the last leg. That was wrong. Ashley Pearson in lane two, closing out lane two. And who's two. closing out Emily lane four? Emily Schmidt. Emily Schmidt, a captain. Here she goes. Let's go, Emily. She's moving on up She's on the moving. east side. Powerful kick. Let's go, Emily. Under two minutes. Okay, 158.78. 158, Good two. job. Good for them. Good job. Up oh, here comes. All right, they're gonna fight it out. Come on, Hopkinson. Let's here go. It let's comes. go, Lane And two. it is a photo yes. finish. Oh, I don't we'll have know. to go to the videotape on that one. <laughs> Dave Franklin. That was too close to the naked eye. I don't know who got that one. That was a good swim. Let's see, lane two, that was Julia Altman. Yeah. Oh, no. Is that lane two was? Lane two was. Um, Who brought that in? Ashley Pearson. And now for the boys in lane one, lane three. We do Paul, Paul, and Jake, and Sean, Zach, Trevor, Kyle, and Aaron, Connor, Jack, Colin, and Justin Buffard to close it out. All right, so just say who's on starting for each. We just did. I can't tell how, no, but who's gonna be on the blocks? Cause I can't tell. Paul, Zach, and Connor. Paul, Zach, and Connor, okay. We're getting to the end. Okay. Oh, again, no show for the other team, honey. Yeah. This is, again, we're swimming against Casper. Casper, yeah, and the Invisible Man, Claude Rains. Hmm. So I guess there's only one team to root for. Or not root at all. Or not root at all. No. As the as as the the villain in Chuck Norris movie. Here goes Trevor off of lane two. And called Jack forgot, Brennan for lane four. I forgot the name of the movie. Sam it's a Vietnam for lane movie. six. The villain says to J Chuck Norris, you leave Vietnam now or you not leave at all. And Chuck didn't leave and he killed the whole country. Okay, off goes Kyle Hall in lane two. And the name of the movie was Missing in Action. For you movie buffs. Thank you, honey. Circa 1982. A young Dave Franklin was still, still in high school, listening to Van Halen. Or as a Jersey boy listening to Bruce Springsteen and Southside Johnny and Beaver Brown. Ooh. I think this was written incorrect. I think that's Sean Kelly who just got in lane two. Aaron Howe closing it out. AH. Mother's screaming, father's not saying a word. The daughter in between. Former Oberlin person. Okay, now, here comes PC. Sean closing it in. Nice. 143.95. X coming in, Aaron. Second place. And we close 
of the, the next event, I don't mean close out, but we're doing the 100, bra 100 backstroke. We only have one competitor. Excuse me, we have three competitors. One competitor in the boys. We have Julia, Logan, and Caitlin doing the 100 back. And we actually have some competitors in this one, so it could be interesting. like young David Mann is staying for the remainder. He looks thrilled. So this this is, is quite. He's got a bum knee. What are they all screaming at? Julia Pellarella, Logan Salyards, Caitlin Cohane. The coolest Cohanes out there. And they're off. Four lanes of the pool, backstroke. You have to judge once you hit the flags. Two or three strokes from there, then you do a flip turn, a reverse flip turn, and you're there. off to the races. There they go. And for those who uh, are listening or watching this broadcast going forward, my wife was a noted high school and college swimmer for various clubs and high schools and colleges. She it jumped around so a lot. Long ago. Even spent a year in Spain. Not sure why, but she learned Spanish. Spoke it for eight years and no longer. Taught her daughter Spanish at Hopkins High School. Tried didn't very know hard. To keep them going in Spanish. AP in Spanish was not one of Nikki's better suits. No, nope. drop down, right down. Oh, okay, they're coming in to finish. They're coming into the finish. And it looks like it is a Hopkinton Who young woman in lane form, Julia Pillarella. She is the one. She's taking out Logan Salyard. These young women are fast and furious. That sounds like a movie title. 112.02. Seven titles later. And next is and unfortunately Logan. One, one famous dead actor, Paul Walker. We'll miss you, Paul. Rest in peace. So we got one, two. He was a Hollywood heartthrob. And we go on to the boys. There's only one person competing, I believe, in the boys for our team. I believe his name is Brad Canty, but I may, be, I may stand corrected. It is Brad, see? That's BC, before Christ, Brad Canty. Let's go, Hillers. He's got two Foxborough swimmers on each side. One swimmer on each side. Look at how many people lined up just to cheer him on. That's one thing about the Hopkinton team, right, honey? That they are very quite cool, the spirited good. team. How's Coach King doing doing this? He looks pretty relaxed, doesn't he? He is relaxed. He's going to go out and get some holiday chair. He might go out with the Franklins tonight for a little af Franklin? Af af after dinner enjoyment. There they go. He can do two things at one time. He's multitasking. Dave Franklin. Oh, good job. Brad's way up front. Get a nice rhythm going. Oh, this is gonna make Coach King happy. He got his message across last week. This is quite the spirited team. It is. I'm not sure what they're saying, but I think they're saying, let's go Brad. This <laughs> is Brad Canty. Wow, he's really taking this one, honey. Look at him. I think it's from all the encouragement. 
There he goes. Last length. There he goes. On the, and down the stretch they come. There's a lot of screaming going on. Ooh, he's really taking it. Brad Canty is going to take it home without any charge as he completes and his tour of duty. 122.57. Good job, Brad. Taking off the camp. Good cap. Oh, now the, the, the last two are going to fight it out. Here goes Foxborough. They're going to all cheer him. <coughs> and the last there they go. individual event for the Hopkinton Hillers. Emily Trudeau in lane four, Caitlin O'Connor in lane two, and Caitlin Salyards in lane six for the Hopkinton Hillers, and that's the 100 breaststroke, four laps up and back, and you are done. 25 yards back and forth four times. Who's lane two? Lane two is Caitlin O'Connor, good old CO, commanding officer. I don't know if the Foxborough uh, team is shell-shocked, but they took a drubbing tonight. I kind of agree with you there, honey. And they're part of our league, right? They're not in the no, league? No, this is an out-of-league event. This is an out-of-league event? Uh, all the league events or boy-girl. Yeah. Considering That's you've been doing this for six years, Thank you, you might not remember that. I know. Well, I'm too focused on my kids. Which kids are that? Probably Nikki and Leslie. <laughs> Julia doesn't swim. She doesn't do H2O. Oh, they've got a good girl in lane three. Looks like that lane three Foxborough girl has, has mm. a nice little uh, head start. She's got nice strokes. Yeah, she gets her hips up. I would she's think that she's a, a clubber. Going. Oh, definitely, she's a club swimmer. She's definitely. No? No? All right, here comes Hopkinton, Emily Trudeau. Kate O'Connor's. Coming up, actually all of our girls. In lane six, she's hanging in, doing great. Caitlin. There goes Emily, bringing it home. So Foxborough one, Hopkinton is Emily. Two and three, it looks like. Two and three. Good, Good job, job Hopkinton. Second was Emily Trudeau. Then next was Caitlin. And then uh, Peyton. Peyton. Caitlin Good and job. Peyton. And Foxborough's coming in. And for the and boys, the last single event of the evening, we have one event, one individual, Shane Horseman, and then we'll complete the evening's events with the freestyle relay. And speaking of um, fashion, did you notice the new T-shirts that all the uh, parents are wearing? This I actually year? made a comment about earlier. Did if you were listening you to the broadcast, I don't always listen to you. What did you say? I just said they're very, very nice, and it looks like everybody is all in unison. Okay, off they go. And there they go. Four laps of the pool. Shane Horseman and the other two individuals 
And then we complete this with the 400 free freestyle relay. And I record think holders. Trying to break. Oh, well, they're trying to make at least sectionals, I think. And the record holders from the 400 relay, I believe, are names that are known to the Hopkinton lore. Brianna Gallo of the Gallo family slash Donovan family. Lydia Franklin of the famous Franklins. Nikki Annenberg, the Annenbergs of Glenn, and the unknown person who no longer swims with us. Who was that? We don't mention her name. Well, I mean, that's how you it is. Oh, Victoria Fang. Yeah, I'm telling you. It looks like it looks like Foxborough's gonna make one and three. Looks like possibly. And they're done. Taylor, Shane Horseman coming in. Good Two, job. 129-25, Shane. Okay, they're suited up, Hopkinton, they're ready. I believe they're trying to break the record. They are definitely ready to go. Oh, they are suited up, look at they're those They're all suits. suited up, they're thank ready God to break the, up. Thank God for the company in Northbrook. That Hopkinton That's just a cash cow. record. I don't know, I have to say, sorry to say, but I don't want to see that record broken. That's terrible to say. What are we looking at? We're looking at 345 out the gate. I don't know. Any 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 record with Lydia Franklin in it should never be broken. <laughs> oh, they're ready to go. Look at them. I they think look the Franklin uh, brother and sister combination are the only ones that have school records. Brother and sister combination. So who's in that lane too? Off they go. The timing them. They're going hard and fast. So they want to beat this record. Wow, they're off to see the wizard on this one. Who's in who's in lane two? This, yeah, this one. Mallory, Tiana, Kylie, no. oh, I'm sorry, Grace, Emily, Olivia, and Abby Fisher. Oh, they're going for the title. Mm -hmm. They're going for a school With Grace school leading record. it. Here she goes. 345.60 set in February of 2014 by the illustrious group, that, the R4 mentioned group that I said earlier. And this goes Emily Way. What was it? 57 from change. So she started under a hunt, started under a minute. Now we get Emily Way. Oh, these girls are serious. Here goes Emily Way kicking up a storm. Look at her arms go. That Emily Way is powerful. There she goes. Hanrahan and Abby Fisher to close it out. Olivia Handrahan is the captain. She's up on the blocks waiting for Emily DeWay to come in. Emily DeWay's heading in. She's getting ready, hands are out. Follow her in and off she goes. Let's go, Liv. There she goes, a nice kick. their fast suits on. They want oh. that record. They can smell yes, it. Yes, they do. It is in their sights. They're done seeing Brianna's name, Nikki's name, and all the others. All right, last one getting up on the blocks to get ready.
Okay. Here goes Abby Fisher up there, waiting. Cam's gonna be following her in. Let's go. Hands are out, follow her in. There she goes. There she goes, nice start. She got way out there. There goes Abby. It's gonna be close, I don't think they're gonna break it though. I don't know, she's got a beautiful, strong stroke. Look at her kick. She's got a good pull under the water. Her hips are up. There she goes. Nice off the nice off the turn. I don't think they're gonna do it, Nick. Nice high kick. Step, she there she goes. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna do it. They're gonna be about they're gonna be a second and a half short. They're gonna be 346. What do they need? Nick? She's coming in. What do they need? And she landed. Close. And Not this time. That Maybe record by the Annenberg Franklin duo, but the other two non Hopkinton seniors still remains intact. And as we complete oh, the They'll final, break it this season, just this wasn't the night. Three forty five sixty. And here comes Hopkinton late second place. Hopkinton, third place, Foxborough. They came in second, second place overall. Second behind the record. So Hopkinton has one three and four as we close out the boys for the 400 free relay for the girls and then we're just waiting on the boys and the boys are uh -oh. sam paul sean and jake what Young lane June, is that colin zach and trevor justin kyle sam and Connor, it seems like the whole team. Except for the divers. I don't know if he. Uh... And the only thing left after the form is free is the, is, the, is the farewell cheer to send the Norfolk Fo Foxboro High School back to Patriot Land. Correction by the um, all of the umpire. We'll make it known for the TV viewers that unfortunately was not a school record. 345.60 was a school record, so I'm not really sure where that uh, analysis is coming from. But we'll figure that out. Off they go. The okay, Hopkinton's off the blocks. They're number one, and they're number two, and number three. Foxborough is trailing behind. At Place number four. Out front is Young June. And as we continue, I'd like to thank my young wife for participating in uh, a valiant effort. 
If you were to scale it tonight for those viewerships, she got an A+. Plus. Oh, thank you, honey. I'm just an A-plus kind of gal. This was my first time doing this, so I get a little bit of a mulligan. So actually, that's... And... Okay, Hopkinson is, is in the lead. Take home the gold for both teams, and they'll close out the new year with a W. For both boys and girls this year. Just a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, next week there are a number of events. Check your local listings. We're Channel 8 on HCAM. We're replayed and replayed. We're, we're kind of on a, uh, a, 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 a loop. Reel? A loop reel. We're on a loop. So if you're not listening to the Beatles or drinking champagne or Bruce Springsteen, <laughs> I strongly recommend Channel 8, Ocho. Channel 8, the Ocho, H Cam with Lynn Annenberg and Ross Annenberg and Dave Franklin at the helm. Closing in on the new year. Closing in on the old year, coming up on the new year. Now I think we're, is this the third leg? I think I'm getting kind of hungry though. Not really, it was a very simple dinner night. Tandoori chicken with the curry sauce didn't cut it. I'm gonna feed my belly at some point. Okay, last, last leg. Okay, Sean Kelly's closing it in. Lane two. And they're off. The last Foxborough young boy, young man gets into the pool. And this meet will be over in less than a minute. You can mark my words on that. Well, maybe I'm wrong. But the last. Hopkinson just took the pull, so and then another one just took the pull. So maybe we got a minute plus to go. Maybe a minute and a half. It is the last individual, the, the final leg of the race. As we look across the pool, there's many cheering. A loud, loud pool. Kids are gonna be drinking all kinds of electrolytes after the meet. Oh, there we go. First place, Hopkinton. No, 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 Jake. That was Jake Glover who pulled in the uh, first place. This was a very enjoyable Last meet. leg of lane two. Foxbowl, we hope you drive safely. It's icy out there, below freezing weather. And there's one participant left for Hopkinton. Place and number two. 50 plus yards to go for the Foxborough young man. People are cheering incessantly. I feel like I'm at a Taylor Swift concert. <laughs> or Justin and, Bieber. And it's not 1989. Is that lit over there, recapping with the coach? Yeah, Lid is a captain. Uh, she's a coach on the field. She's not only a coach, she's a captain, National Honor Society. She's just an all-around student and athlete. Used to play basketball with Julia Th the Thistle. And she hung up her, she hung up her basketball. Sneakers. And there they are. Good job, Foxborough. The only thing left is the, the obligatory score. chair. And the, and the chair. As Coach King comes to the scorer's table to 
sign the score sheet, shake hands with people. All the kids are going to line up to shake hands with each he's, other. He's received the W. All lining up. We're looking for Alyssa Annenberg. Is she in the attendance? Yes, I just saw her. Tough meat for Fox. And we're just waiting for the high fives and the cheer. The cheer, and then we will complete 2015 with a bang. Here we go. Girls, 86 Hopkinton, 76 Foxborough. Hopkinton 62 and Foxborough 46, 46 for the boys. And here Two comes wins. The chair. And it's set up by the, the four captains. Ann Rahan, Howe, the Tata Chair. Munch, munch, munch. Is me, you think, is a mighty fine bunch. Good and job, guys. And this is guys. Ross Annenberg signing off for Lynn Annenberg. Everybody With have Lynn a Annenberg. safe holiday.